hello. Oh, hey. Oh, who, look who it is. Happy Guess Fourth what? of July. We're not in a car. Happy Fourth of July, Independence Day, sucka. God done shed his race on thee. Hey, check this out. Check it out. We got legs. We got legs. Check out our legs. And they move. Check it out. They um, move. We are headed to a picnic table. He's got a bag right there. A bag of America. It's really what it is. That's what it feels like. I know. That's why I feel like I got the weight of America on my shoulders. You really do. If you're ever at Clark and Wellington, go into Foresighted back there. Some of the right coolest. Here, this place is sick. It's got like Great cards and now. art. And a lot just knickknacks. Knickknacks, good stuff for you. Uh, maybe mom for Mother's oh, Day, dad for Father's Day. So, what's the deal with that bag? Oh, we've got uh, six chunks of American meat. The way that America's supposed to do it in hot dog form, that's what you do on Independence Day. Watch out for the pole! Oh, see, ho! I survived. Yeah. You eat hot dogs. So, we got ourselves a Chicago dog, which you'll see what that nonsense looks like, a chili cheese dog, and a mother sucking corn dog. There's That's nothing more America, there's nothing more 4th of July than a corn dog yeah, in a no bag kidding, of meat. right? On the name of my guinea pig bullet and all that is holy, I have never seen a better crowd. Well, there is one more ingredient you can throw in the mix, which we will. Which you might have guessed why we're walking. If not, you're about to see. There's no driving that's been done today. It's all walking. Louis, Louis, Louis. I knew that. We will see you when we sit down and go. Peace. That was some Stone Cold Steve Austin thing. America. Welcome to our 4th of July video. Instead of doing a standard review for this Tuesday, we wanted to do, like we said, mm. oh, we're not huge Chicago hot dog fans. We've said this before, but Clark, hey -o. Normally you slow down over speed bumps. You know? The Clark Street establishment is one of our favorites in the Chicago area. It like it's very underrated. Oh, dude! I think we're very much advocates of this it's place. Not a lot of people love it like we do because they're idiots. What are you? Oh, I've been spitting on that. Is that not okay? So we hope you had a great Fourth of July. We hope you put off some firecrackers in your <laughs> in your neighbor's trash can. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Maybe a uh, mailbox. Maybe uh, lit a couple sparklers and wrote your name in the air like you're a child. <laughs> We're gonna die! <laughs> oh my god! Alright, you're you? Oh. <laughs> there was this really bad kid in my neighborhood, mm -hmm. and he was down at his house across the street shooting bottle rockets at his front porch that all his family were on. That's Robert. really that's really mature. And nice job, Robert. His whole family, his grandma and his mom and his aunts were going, Robert, Robert, stop, Robert, stop. And he was just, <laughs> pew, pew. Which one do you want to start with? Chicago, get it over with? <laughs> sure. Dude, we got tomatoes. The onions actually look dope. These peppers, I don't know what they're all about, but they look spicy and delicious. There's some mustard and an entire just quarter chunk of pickle. Yeah, it's a, it's a way different kind of hot dog than like we're used to in Detroit and Toledo, and people love them here. Uh, we're just not normally a part of that crew. Do I gotta eat the tomato? Hey man, I'm not gonna make you do anything. Bro, this the bun thing. is like liquefying. See this? This is what a smart human being does. All right, Chicago dog, happy fourth. Those are those alpha male in me right here, bro. You see this? Now I know what chicks are talking about when you're talking about what's that man spreading? My man's spreading me. Oh, my bad, dog. So let me eat one of these by itself. It's like a little spicy pepper. I'm pretty good. I don't like. I get why. Like here's, here's my main thing why I don't like these. When you take a bite of this, mm -hmm. you get a lot of cold ingredients mm -hmm. in your mouth. So you get the warmth of the hot dog and the softness of the bread and that mustard, that Vienna. I love that mustard. And then you get cold pickle, mm -hmm. cold tomato. And cold onion. Yep. It's definitely not a good hot dog. I get it. I could see why people are into it, but Coney's definitely better is what I'm getting at. That's more our thing. Check this out. Mmm. Okay. Got me yet. Mmm. You're gross. Mmm. I ever told you I don't respect you as a person? Daily. See, this is just, it's just like, it's a mess. It looks like a salad. You know what? It's the salad of hot dogs. You agree? Mm-hmm. And you know what annoys me a little bit? Is I love onions. And you can't even really taste the onion. Mm -mm. The onion's overpowered. That's, the, that's supposed to be the best part for me right now, and it's not. I'm not gonna sit here and let you tell me 
that the founding fathers, when they thought of the American hot dog, this is what they gave. Mm -mm. The era of the founding fathers. Mm. And when they came over on the Mayflower. George Washington? No. He would spit this. No. I know. Do you know how many pilgrims it takes to change a horseshoe? Five. One to hold the shoe and four to rotate the horse. <laughs> I feel like I'm disrespecting George Washington just by eating this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get it a little bit. The hot dog itself is still makes me happy that it's a hot dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But other than that, I don't. We're mm -hmm. doing this because the bun's about to be disintegrated from all the messy sloppy cheese. You yeah, can see so how obviously messy it is. when you get this to go, it looks like an absolute terrifying it looks like abomination. An it looks no, like an absolute abortion. I don't think that's what it looks like. I think it looks like somebody had some, like, ate one of these and then that's the after effects of it. But. I'll tell you what, I know it's gonna be good. This, dude, it looks like somebody blended and then boofed an onion and then queefed that onto a hot dog. Happy fourth. <laughs> it's just like straight mush. Mm hmm Cheers, stupid, before it all dies. <laughs> mm. That's a hot dog. That's good, this is what I usually get. Mm-hmm, me too. I usually get two of these and chili cheese fries. Yeah. Archie Dog has $2 Bud Light drafts all the time. It's insane. In Chicago, that is not a thing. Yeah, there's probably places that are like, so what I have for a quarter? Yeah, we're like, hmm, not in near Wrigleyville, you don't. Uh, cheese is great. Like, Detroit Coney is like what a we're used to. Onions. They don't put cheese on the hot dog. Which I like the cheese. But this is a good little, you know, if you're gonna do a chili cheese dog, you're gonna do it right, you know? Just an absurd amount of onions. Absurd amount. I feel like a messy monster right now. You look like a messy monster. M squared. Yeah, there's nothing uh, attractive about watching you eat it. There's nothing like after eating two of those, knowing you still have a corn dog to eat. Well, I'll tell you what, I feel American. Right. Our subscribers that live overseas, this is breaded hot dog, corn breaded hot dog. This is what carnies eat. Are We're you... allowed to muster this, correct? Yeah. Now, Carney is a it, carnival human. Carnival worker. Travels like, around. Lives in a trailer. Midwest. Right, I'm gonna do a little, it makes me feel American though. I'm proud to eat a corn dog. I'm gonna do a little house dog. cleaning, a little house cleaning. Oh yeah, look at that, that is Just sweet. look, we set it, and it literally has state fair mm -hmm. on this. All right, that looks so vile. <laughs> you guys, this is like the most Midwest thing that you're like with us on 4th of July as the street lights just came on. That's why we got kind of orangish. Like this, you know, when you were a kid, you'd come out when the street lights came on. Come home, cheers. cheers. Yeah, I do remember that. I think I like this by in Chicago dog. <laughs> I definitely do. <laughs> Check it out. There's nothing to see other than this, but somehow you can't look away. See the stick protrudes, it's, it's, you gotta be careful, because if you bite too much, did you have it happen to you? I always push up. You did the right thing, it's like a Flintstones push up. I like to do this. This is fun. I get rid of that, and I eat it like this, because the, bre the breading You're is like eating a sandwich. All right, I'm gonna do it. Okay. Ian. And you're a psycho now too. I'm gonna be honest with all these folks. I would hope so. And I'm not even gonna hide the fact that I do, in fact, have a bag of mini corn dogs in my freezer right now. Not even, not even sad to admit it. No, I wouldn't be sad about that. I think that you're an American patriot for admitting that and then having those. I, you've had some with me. Yeah, they're great. Mini C's? I always get those mini CDs whenever I can. Mm. I don't need that nonsense. This is what we're drinking. No driving, just hanging out. I like to keep it in the koozie so it's nice and cold. I like to drink it before it gets warm like a man. I don't, you got a sippy cup on there? What does that have to do with being a man? Why can't You a, understand what I'm saying. Why can't a woman do that too? You're a sexist. You, you're a sexist pig. <laughs> oh, that was good. I mean, good is one way to describe it. And it's the way I am choosing to describe it. Did you not think that was good? Would you describe it in another way? Breading was perfect, hot dog mm -hmm. super tasty. You could slide the stick out to not avoid, you know, chipping your tooth. Right. They did it all. Well, it's because they got quality service. That's what they do at Clark Street Dog. We're in a neighborhood, so you can't yell the catchphrase. Eat it, bitch, it's always good. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me show you exactly where we're sitting. See this? There he is. Hey. See him? Drinking a little bruja, a little being a monster. Ah. Appreciate you guys, even if you're not from America. Thanks for supporting us Americans. Other than that, you know, we got a UPS box down low if you want to send us stuff in person. Not in person, you'll send it and we'll pick it up in person. Unless you pack yourself in a box. Which, you know, I've seen people do it and I'm, I'm impressed by it. Seems a little crazy, but that's the type of quality fan we want. Thank you for supporting the series. We'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video once again. Keep you in here. I want to do that. 
house is my dream, dog. Not this one, this one. Dude, look at this house. Look at this house. Look at this thing. 